Those of you that watch my channel will know I'm very much into my nostalgia. And one of the things I remember fondly is one of my early computers, the ZX Spectrum. Now, I thought with all the noise going on around ChatGBT and AI, wouldn't it be interesting to see if actually if I could get ChatGBT to actually create its own program that actually I could run on the Spectrum. So this video is all about that journey and seeing what it's like and uh, reliving a bit of my youth. Now, before we do, it's probably worth just giving a bit of background about the ZX Spectrum. It was uh, created in 1982 by Sir Clive Sinclair. He'd uh, created a couple of PCs before that, or home computers, one of which was the ZX81, which is a really basic one that I had. But the ZX Spectrum was really the first one that was available to the mass market. It was really cheap. It was about £125. And uh, it really opened up computing to the public and also gaming. So it was a fantastic computer. So the first thing I need to do is to actually run an emulator on my PC. So I've looked around and uh, Fuse seems to be a popular one. Details of all of these sites will be on my links below. But uh, this is the website and you'll see that they've got uh, various different operating systems. But I'm loading the Windows version. And when I do that, it opens up the emulator for me. Now, the next thing to do is to obviously open up ChatGBT and get it to write a computer program for me. So uh, I'll start off by just asking it to make a really simple shooting game and uh, making sure that it's obviously in ZX Basic. I was going to try Space Invaders, but let's uh, keep it really simple at this stage because uh, I don't know how good this is going to be. And I've obviously said it needs to be run on the Fuse emulator, so... There we go. Sure I can help. Now it's been a long, long time since I've looked at uh, ZX Basic and... Broadly speaking, that looks like that should be okay. And you'll see there it says that I can uh, obviously use Fuse by saving the text file as a BAS file. No idea what that is, but uh, let's copy this and I'll save it into Notepad. So uh, there we have it. Now, I can't see any way of saving it as anything other than a text file, so I might be being a bit stupid, but I spent ages looking at this. So it is just going to literally be a text file. So the next step for me was to find out how to actually load that into Fuse because uh, you can't load it into Fuse as it currently is. And I ended up having to go onto one of the uh, forums and this is what I came up with. So this is uh, the world of Spectrum. They've got uh, this forum here. Now, I already know the actual... Uh, uh, sort of subject of this one so basic source it wasn't one that came naturally but I had to look at various different uh, uh, sections before I actually found this one and there was a really useful response from Bunny they were talking about uh, what you actually do so you need to uh, upload this uh, TS text to file now, when you actually do that, I did actually find that uh, the computer sort of was giving me all sorts of warnings. But when I finally loaded it, this is what came down. You'll see there's two ones. There's a tap and a Z80 file. I've got no idea what the uh, Z80 file is, but it's the tap one that uh, we need to use. And when I click on that, that opens Fuse for me. And you'll see the program that that has there at line naught that's the one that loads in the text file and converts it into the ZX basic so first thing you need to do following those instructions from the forum is find out the uh, size of the file which uh, you did through the properties section you type that in here you then have to load binary find the file I've called shooting and then you need to type or load that into P 
position 64592 as it says there press enter and what it's trying to do is it's tried to then input it but it's come up with a problem so in line 30 it obviously doesn't like the statement there and the reason is uh, it's missing a go to so I've got some very <laughs> basic recollections of some of this uh, programming but it should say go to 30 so we'll see if we can get chat GPT to work it out and sure enough it's added a go to statement in there so we'll copy that over and paste that into the other text file and I've also noticed that the in keys isn't going to work either so uh, we'll get it to change that I don't think it likes strings of three letters. Right, I'm going to see what that comes back with. Right, so it's made the inkies change, but it's removed the uh, go to statements again. That's pretty hopeless. And it's still kept the key reference in there, which I know will get uh, rejected because I have actually tried that one, but I just didn't show that on the film here. So, uh, right. I've made the changes to the text file here, so this should all be correct now. Let's run it and see what happens. Just checking the length, type that in. Load in the new game. I don't know why the number changes each time, but there we go. Anyway, so it looks like it's accepted all of that and it's loaded everything in. Before that, it actually stops uh, at the point it gets an error, but now everything's loaded in. You'll see that's up to line 250. So let's run it. We have to obviously run it from line one. Shooting game, press any key to start. All right. Hmm. Okay, so I'm pushing some of these keys here. That looks like a bullet shooting across there. The ship moves down. Can't seem to get it to move up. But it does something. There we go. <laughs> it's got a problem now. That's the end of that one. I must confess, I don't think it's uh, too bad. But uh, let's see if we can get it to make some further improvements or suggest some improvements. So it, ChatGPT is thinking about it. It's obviously very apologetic. So we could add enemies, scoring system, levels and difficulty, sound effects and music, power ups, game over screens, etc. But it's not actually giving me any changes to the program. So uh, let's let's ask it to anyway. So we'll add uh, enemies to the game or Eminis. Obviously can't type very well today, can I? Enemies, that's it. And here we have an update. Right, well, I'm sure I'm going to still end up with various problems with uh, statements in there. I see the inkies have uh, reverted back to keys again and uh, the Oh, the go-to statement's still in there. That's okay. But I suppose you could say it has started. Um, it's got some work to do in terms of, A, working out how to actually load it into an emulator because there was obviously some problems there. But also, uh, uh, I think obviously it needs to do some work around uh, the actual programming. And 
I know that uh, it's constantly learning. And what was really interesting is actually if I typed in the same request about creating a simple shooting game, it would come up with a totally different program for me uh, when I've run it again. So uh, I've tried this several times actually since and uh, got all sorts of different variations. But they never worked quite right on first time. So uh, they all needed a bit of basic understanding around uh, the programming. Um, and probably I need a bit more understanding as well. So there's a, a lesson for me there, I think. But, you know, it's a good start. And I might look to revisit this. And uh, if I know how to do machine code and assembly and all that sort of stuff, then uh, I may want to give that a go. But good start, I think, from ChatGPT.